Hello, this is going to be a um, three part series on how to make a T slot, um, T slot table, T slot nut, um, and how to configure this into an assembled feature and output with some drawings. So, this is going to be a mini feature series. So, what we're going to do is we're going to need to create some T nuts uh, with corresponding T slots or T slots with corresponding T nuts for a machining table to output and visually representates fixture clamping for a CNC milling device. So we know that our table is, a, is, an, is an M12 style slot, so it's 14 by 23 to 25 by 9 to 11 by 23 to 28. So that's all of the dimensions for our slot here. Our T nut, for instance, okay, we're gonna use the same style, M12, 14, 22, eight, and 19. So these are set standards um, that you can obviously buy. This is just reference from the engineering toolbox um, .com. So first of all, we're going to then make our um, table essentially. So I'm in Fusion now, um, and essentially what I'm going to do is create my first um, drawing plane. So I'm just going to rotate around so my datums in the bottom left hand corner. That's where the um, CNC datum is that I use. So my table is uh, 560 millimeters by 400. So, and we're going to extrude. I've got a um, 30 millimeter height. So you sort of get around like so. Um, so that's my table sort of width where I can bolt vices and fix the clamps on. Obviously, the table um, T slots only cover that sort of duration. Now, I know on my particular design here that my T slots I've only got four and they sit um, 100 mil away from um, each other, obviously, from the center of, our, of, of the table lap. So I'm just going to draw a new sketch. I'm going to find my center point. I'm just going to do a construction line. So as I zoom out and pan, I should be able to identify the center with a triangle, which it has done. And I'm going to do another center line through the middle as well. So that's more on my center. So the first point that I need to semi draw is I need to obviously work out how far away the top component is essentially the construction line and obviously from the center it's gonna be 50 mil on one side so that's the center point of my first um, T slot so just going back to the dimensions I know that I'm looking at an M12 so the first slot is 14 mil however when you look at that the T nut S2, which is also 14 mil. So every other size has got a range 23 to 25, 8, 9 to 11. So these are obviously 22, 8, 19. So they're all one down. So I'm going to make this 15 rather than um, 14. Because obviously you need some, some clearance for the T nut to go in. So I'm going to use this as my center point essentially in a mirror, mirror around. So I'm just another construction line. Um, through that piece, not going all the way touch into the end, just so I don't sort of um, fix on any other surface. When I'm off the construction, I'm going to do a line. See, it's half of 15, so you know what half of 15 is, for instance, you use a divide by two, and it obviously give you seven and a half. Then it's 19 mil um, sort of depth, essentially, but we know that the last 19 mil is going to be eight, so I know it's 11 mil drop. And then we're extending out by a further 22, so that would obviously be, it'd be 11. So 22 minus 7.5, which would be that 14 and a half. And the last one, I'm going to drop down a further eight and then close off my shape. So basically back to the center line, make sure it's parallel perpendicular 
90 to 90 degrees. It's just going to run some quick inspection measurements. So I'm just going to run there to there, make sure that's 11. So obviously I need to half that actually, so that's not the correct dimension. So easy way to do that is if I delete that one off. So run a measurement there and there. Change that to 11. Like so. Next thing I do is just mirror that. So I'm going to mirror one, two, three, four, five features, mirroring that around my construction line. This is what I must have done a separate construction line to have. Mirror that around my construction line. Press OK and it fills in my shape. So I've got a, a split shape because essentially I've got a center line running free. If I didn't have that center line, I wouldn't have that split shape. So I'm just going to remove my center line that way. Now I've got a split shape. So this is where this um, can sort of now end because essentially we have a center line which I could then obviously offset then um, another one 100 mil and then mirror it across onto the other side or I could cut this out and then mirror pattern the feature. I'm going to do it by offsetting using a rectangular pattern this way because it is slightly easier. So objects I'm going to select are all of this. Direction, I'm going to run it across the top line. Now I want two, so I want the original one plus one more. I want that distance to be 100 mil. Hopefully, that's not stuck there. So you can see my new shape. So I'm going to accept that. I'm happy with that one. And now I'm simply just going to mirror both of those objects. It's already picked up my center line. So now I have my four cutouts, which I'm happy with. Finish the sketch. Okay, now I have my four individual. Now I'm going to go into the extrude function. I'm going to go into a cat. Choosing my profiles one, two, three, four. This is the distance which is through all. And hopefully, if I just pan around, I can see when I flip my axis, it cuts through my whole table. Like so. So, there is my first part, which is essentially my. Um, my machining table for my CNC. Last thing that I need to do here is just do a quick save. So I'm going to open up a new project folder. So I'm going to call it CNC fixture in. I pop that in my new folder. I'm going to call this 560. CNC table that's my machine to 560 and save. So that's how you make a machine table. Uh, next video will show you how to make a T nut. Thanks for watching.